from the time of, uh, I guess, So You Think You Can Dance, you got Sir. Um, so You Think You Can Dance, like, mm -hmm. I mean, you've choreographed a lot of pieces. Yeah, man. You're in that uh, Benji and Travis, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Benji, Trenji. <laughs> Trenji. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. what was, uh, like, maybe who were some of your favorite? I'm sure all of them were, were yeah. great to work I have with. A, I have a few of them that I've lost. Um, I did, um, uh, okay, Benji, Trenji. Mm -hmm. The goofy glasses, right? Classic. This one, <laughs> yeah, classic. Um, I did the Matrix one, the group, the big group number. Oh, right, right, right. When it was the, the girl came out like boom, boom. I can't think of her names because it's been a minute. But um, all my group numbers I love. But my favorite, Make It Work, with um, Dietrich, uh, Dietrich and, and Sabra. Yeah. My favorite, Sexy Love. Um, man, um, uh, what's the one I did with? Sabra hits that song. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Make it exactly. work. Okay. Man, I, like all all my couple numbers that I did, especially to the slow songs, was my favorite numbers. I could sit and watch those over and over and over. I think you really set the tone for how like Nappy Tabs coming in. Yeah. Had Nappy Tabs choreographed yet? No, Nappy Tabs was doing their thing before okay. they got on the show. That's that's how they got on the show because they were already talented and people already knew about them. It was just the timing was right. You know what right. I mean? I, I moved to ABDC, mm -hmm. so then they came in. You know what I mean? And they did some nice numbers on there. Nice to see them because they was doing stuff on ABDC too. So I would see them. And they were like, "What you think about the number?" I'm like, "It was dope." Blah blah blah. You know, then we go to ABDC and you know do our thing. Right. So it's a lot of talented people out there, man. And I love the fact that the industry recognizes the talent and they bring these people in there to take the next, take everything to the next level. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I wish that the industry would understand is they need to pay the dancers more. Man. Definitely. I just wish that they took dancers a little more serious, made sure that they were secure right. financially, with health, you know what I mean? And just make sure and that... I believe Dancers Alliance right now is, yeah. is doing that, right? Yeah, so definitely. Shout out to them. Yeah, sure. definitely. And I, I love the fact that Dancers Alliance does that, do that. What I want to say is to the other dancers that come out here that aren't with Dancers Alliance and they don't have agents, right. a lot of them kind of kill in the industry. I say that because you have to work. If you come to me and say, Shane, I need to choreograph a video, right. and I say, all right, I'll charge you five Gs. Then you go to another guy, and he says, all right, I'll do it for a G. Yeah. He's going to get the job. Even though they, they're going to love what I do, but at the end of the day, that choreography is going to be seen right. like that. You know what I mean? Right. It's not this level, it's here right. because they took somebody for a lower money. Right, right, okay. So, so when you get the people that come in from out of town that need the work and they do it for less money, right. it takes away from the people who set standards. Obviously. You know what I mean? For yourself, so, who's been there for exactly, years. Exactly, exactly. So, has that experience. Exactly. Okay. So I just want to, I'm not knocking anybody because I know you got to get on your grind, you got to do your thing, but just know your worth. Okay. If you're a choreographer coming in this industry and you don't know your worth, because those people got the money, the dancers are the lowest paid on any job that's I've ever done in any job. Hardest I've ever working, done. too. Hardest that's working true. ones, and they'll come in there and have $10,000 budget for the dancers, for the video, for the yeah. choreographer, and they'll say, dude, all I got is 1000 for the choreographer, and I can pay y'all 200 and Then they bank the rest. It's kind of crazy, man, and they don't know because don't nobody know how much they're getting. But there's money out there for dancers, it's just that they cheat us like, you know. So my thing is to come back in this industry and make sure that we get treated right, change the game, set the standard, you know Definitely. what I mean? And then let everybody know, know your worth, because if you take it, if you, if you let them use you, they're gonna continue to use you. If right. you tell them I'm not gonna do that, then they'll go get whack dancers, their video will be whack, their music will be whack, their movie will be whack, and they'll sell, then they'll be like, oh, we gotta start getting the best, you know what I mean? Right. Then somebody who pays right, come out and do you best serve, and murder everybody, you know? So, step up two, I'm so excited about that. That looks like it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. That looks crazy to me, man. It gets better and better. Whole nother level. <laughs> whole nother level. Um, so, so you back on the scene, what's coming up for you? Like well, what's what's going down? Right now, dude, I got a lot of stuff going on in Japan. Okay. I got my partner, um, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Man, he changed my life. Got I give everything to him right now. From the websites to we got a music company coming up. Okay. Um, Broke Two Music Group. Right. It's crazy, man, because we got artists coming from all over the world, Beautiful. and we are about to change the game. We got our own iTunes. Watch we that. got it, we, it's crazy, man, because there's a lot of dope artists out there that don't get the chance because they're not signed to a label. Mm -hmm. But imagine if you could send your music in, get it on iTunes, which is going to be a different iTunes company. But right. if you can put it on there and start making residuals off of it right away. 
imagine it. So we just want to change the game and bring something different. So that's what we do. ShaneSparks.com. Anything you need to know about what's going on with me, what's going on with Thomas, what's going on with Broke2, Media Group, go there and you can find out anything. We want to help the game. We don't want to take away from it. You know what I mean? So that's my goal. That's been my goal since day one, actually, man. So whatever I can do to help, that's what I'm going to do. It's not about me no more. You're working on a, a new show, right? Yeah. With kids. It's a, yeah, it's a few things going on right now. Okay. July 14th, I'm going to be, it's a company called, um, it's called Dance for Camp. Okay. And it's a benefit for our kids at the Boys Club in Thousand Oaks. Okay. And base, uh, yeah, Thousand Oaks. And basically, dude, we have a, we got a TV show called, uh, what is it called? <laughs> um, a day, I can't believe I can't hear, I've been saying his name like every day. <laughs> oh, Latin Flavor. Okay, so it's a, it's a show called Latin Flavor. And it's basically a mix of interviewing artists, okay. cooking food, nutritional stuff for kids, okay. and, um, and dance. So a picture like a living color meets um, Oprah Winfrey. Right, right. And you know what I mean? And so I remember, uh, what was it? Back on the Disney Channel back in the day, it was like jazz size, but it was uh, it was like Disney size, and they would do that. They had like yeah, do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? exactly. And then they would have somebody chilling in a smoothie bar. Exactly. So they kind of like just something so much that just take it cool. to another level, man. <laughs> I remember watching that. Yeah. Kid, now, can you imagine how much you love that? Right. Like, right. Nobody they don't have that nowhere no more. Just like with Soul Train, dude. We need to, you know, it's a lot of things that aren't out there that need to be out there. So I'm just trying to bring it back because Saturday mornings was. The best days of my life. I couldn't wait to wake oh, up man. and watch cartoons, Soul Train. Even and, Hammer had a cartoon. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> so it's a, it's a lot of good stuff coming up from the clothing line. I actually invented a knee pad for dancers. Okay. And it's um, of course everybody know about the regular knee pad, but I right. grew up wearing knee pads. And you wear them under your pants, you see the big pad. You know right, what I mean? right, right. You wear them on your knees, you wear shorts, you see the big pad. I wanted it to be something that was really. A nice size, they okay. covered a lot of the knee, okay. and it's about that thin, but the material inside it is like steel. Okay. You don't feel nothing on the ground. So, so when you put your jeans on, you don't see them. you on the floor, you don't feel nothing, you know? Right. And we're going to help for the elbows here, for breakers. We're going to actually invent a shirt that's going to be, it's almost going to be like a body glove. And wow. It's going to have pads here, pads here. So when they're doing what they do, you know, I know these dancers, man, they look like Shane, man. My body is done. If they the sickest dancers you ever want to see, I uh, are banging them up. I was talking. I interviewed Crumbs about that. Yeah, he was exactly. telling me um, just about you know there's certain things he can't he can't do anymore, but he's still doing it. He's uh -huh. eating, doing oils, doing all kinds of nutrition, yeah, man. vitamins. So exactly. So that's so, something that can help. Something that can protect you, man. Okay. Because I got a scar right here from when I first learned how to do the windmill. It's still there. And I mean, I first, <laughs> I first burned that friction burn, but mm -hmm. I learned how to do it. But if I had something to protect me, I would never got that. And then you're fearless. Right. And you feel like you're, you're protected. You can do more stuff. Imagine how much to where the level of dance will go if you felt like you would never get hurt. Right. You know, you know what right. I mean? Not see you never get hurt, but you, were, you felt protected. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing, man. I'm just trying to bring it back, man. Good. And. Change the game and just give these dancers something to look forward to, and and let us be appreciated. That's it. Yeah. Um, for me personally, uh, it's a real honor, Thank and you. I'm I'm glad you're back. Thank you. And uh, any final shout outs, any like just words of inspiration for me? Honestly, I I can tell you that uh, I was going to college school in Idaho. I'm from San Diego, but mm -hmm. I went to a school and there was no hip hop dancing up there. Right. I had some guys who. Did and we were able to start things mm -hmm. um, where still to this day, uh, five, seven years later, there's a every Monday night at the school, there's a, it's crazy, a hip hop man. night. We yeah. started going, but um, I remember going to uh, being one of just me and my friend and one other person in the theater in Idaho watching you got served, and I remember <laughs> seeing your name on there, and then everything was so easy to dance. So, um, I mean, obviously, for me, it's a real honor to be here standing next to you. So. What I would like to do is be able to just have you just share words of inspiration. Because I mean, this for me, this is like, I've reached a point by like, mm -hmm. an accomplishment for me. And basically anybody anywhere can do it. Right, definitely. If they want to meet you, if they want to meet Ian Eastwood, whoever it is. You definitely. Know what I mean? Like, what kind of words we can give to, to dancers and just people that have dreams. Well, my thing is this, man. I feel in my heart that I was blessed and gifted to do everything that I do. Mm -hmm. If you know who you are, and you stand for it, and you know what you stand for, you will never sell out. My thing is this, when I came to LA, I knew I was a dancer and I knew my worth. 
So when I was offered to do certain things that I didn't feel good about or that would kind of tarnish my career, I would never do it. Because at the end of the day, if you know your future and know what you're destined to be, you won't do all that raggedy stuff in between. Mm -hmm. So know your worth when you come out here, practice and train and try to be the best that you can be when you get out here. And no job is worth your, um, what's the word? Your, your integrity, or no job is worth your morals. your morals. Yeah. No job out here, because I'm gonna tell you this, man. There's always gonna be another job. Mm -hmm. There's only there's only one of you, and once you tarnish it, it's really hard to get it back. So stay focused. Come out here and do what you do. Be true to yourself and true to everybody else. And if you're working with people, become friends with them. Let them take you to a, another level. Learn from them. Don't just do a job, take the money and go, because opportunities come in the, in the rarest places and at the rarest times. A little girl could be standing in the studio with you and you don't know that her daddy is the president. And she would say hi to you and she wanted the autograph and you didn't have time for it. And all of a sudden you meet her dad and he says, oh yeah, that's the guy that didn't sign my daughter's autograph. You know what I mean? Right, right. Be careful of the people that you're around because you never know who's going to be the next superstar. Mm -hmm. The superstar is always the one that you least expect. Right. Something special about them, but just be cool with everybody. And if when you're going up, as this has been said, the people that you meet on the way up yeah. are the same people you meet on the way down. Mm -hmm. The way you treat them, it's very important. yeah, the way you treat them determines how quick you come back up. Mm -hmm. Because those little people are big people now. You know what I mean? Right. You gotta watch out, man. Really? That's all I have to say, man. I have a million things to say, but <laughs> that's what I'm we saying. We got more. We'll, we'll have more coming. Yeah, for sure. What's up? This is your boy Shane Sparks shouting out the step by step dance. And I'm out of here. And my boy is wearing a Cincinnati red hat. That's what's up. <laughs>